the big Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse. You post your joke at 12 and 8 that night, see how my... Taking to golf. A lot of these look lost. They broke. They think it's my fault. No call. I want that call. I'm dripping. I'm stuck with the sauce. Good drip. But she love you. Don't cut your. Reynolds and Vinci is white. Limited Louis that's light. Rape in the city that's light. LED look at the lights. We the ones don't like. But you look too light. Why even play with your light? Bank account looking like. Yikes. With, with me, me, boy. Your hands and your fingers. <laughs> Yo, ears with a Get back, watch it turn to a singer. Get you fighting like this Jerry Springer. You. All of my Zip the back that like a popo. Boom, boom. Don't do these they popo. You. Had a G-Rag and truck turned to Rojo. Find a cave with two wheels and they Boom, ride down a Soho. One's black and the other was Mexican. You. Had a like a polo. Younger than you with a Maybach. Younger than you with a Bentley. Finna <laughs> got in there gently. Angry and friends with these when I was down, I'd have so had sympathy. Facts. But that's how I go when you broke. Facts. Now I'm out like Mr. Cole. This do my own. Not gonna lie, some these new clones. Then she asked for a loan. Had to laugh, then I told her to get gone. Gonna get that me on. And up, give me not a thing. So I'll spend 90K on my reign. You can see all my. EA Sports coverage of the NFL takes us to the StubHub Center, 20 miles south of downtown LA. Today, we're set for a good AFC matchup between the Tennessee Titans and the Los Angeles Chargers. Three quarters of the NFL season are complete. What lurks in our final month? We're underway in week 14. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. to the 26. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. On second down, McNair. That's complete to his tight end, Seals Jones. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Trying for Brown, and it's intercepted. Trevor Williams with a pick, and they are going to set up shop at the 40-yard line. He's coming off a three-interception performance last week, so certainly not how he wanted to start here. Not at all, but this is where a quarterback gets tested. This is where we find out what he has underneath that jersey because he had a bad game last week. Can he shake off a bad start to this one and start to perform at the level he expects? And they'll go on the ground. Takes this to the 32, maybe the 31, and then the defense rallying quickly after that broken tackle. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. to the ground this time with Tomlinson and they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24 eight yards on the pick up there and it moves the sticks and there we see an early burst that makes him one of the leading rushers in the league well I want you to know I listened to you yesterday when we were watching film you said right down the word vision for him it was on display there wasn't it it certainly was because he allows the blocks to set up in front of him and if that continues it'd be a long afternoon for those guys trying to play some defense caught left side Williams Give him a couple on the catch. It's second and eight. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, 
Something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open. That makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. Tackle made there by Jonathan Cyprian. The completion on first didn't get much, and now the run on second doesn't get a whole lot either. Well, if you're a good play caller, you've already looked ahead and anticipated this type of situation. Already down in his play sheet, trying to dial up a big third down play. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he takes it in for a Charger touchdown. A great effort there. His 11th touchdown of the year. And the Chargers have taken a first quarter lead. The extra point splits the uprights. And that makes the score 7-0. Set now to kick this one away. And off it goes. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Out come the Titans now. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still on attack. We'll see how they attack him here. They'll run with Henry. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. It's a loss of a yard there and now second down. Nice play right there to stop him behind the line, but I want to see how this defense continues to play him here in the first half. Yeah, we know. You know better than I. He has the ability to take over a game, so what do you do? Yeah, I think you have to make sure that you bottle him in at varying levels because if you crowd everyone to the line of scrimmage, if he breaks through, there's nothing but room to run. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. From the gun, here's McNair. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Tennessee getting the first down on a big play of 18 yards. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Steps away to his left. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. Now, that was not a bad scramble there on first down. He didn't force it, nor did he throw it away. He was able to take off, and now he made it a very manageable second and short. On second down, here's Henry. And he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. He lost four there, and it's third down. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. Out of the gun, it's McNair. Being chased out left, and he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. Melvin Ingram in there to get him, and that's sack number 12 for him on the year. Fourth down, so on is the punter, Riley Dixon. Back deep, Travis Benjamin. And this will be taken at the 13. Excellent work on the run back there, 33 yards. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. The Charger offense making their way back out there. Now they'll be looking to duplicate the efforts of drive number one that resulted in seven points in the seven-zip lead. Well, you know how much I enjoy horse racing, right? Looks like they caught a flyer out of the gate, as they would say, when you're running the big-time races. It means they get out to a fast start. They're setting the pace, making the other team chase now. And he will avoid the contact as he slides to a stop. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. 
partner, he was going through his progressions. Hey. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. Now a second down throw for Rivers. And this one complete to Virgil Green. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. First time they've hooked up here. Good for 17 at a first down. But when you hit him on the move like that, and he's able to get into open field with a full head of steam, oh, boy, it's going to be tough to get him down. Yeah, there was a big window. They're lucky they did get him down. First down, Rivers. Try to get it to Williams, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Matthias Farley. And he will bring this across midfield to the 49-yard line. He had a little bit of the turnover bug last week, three interceptions. Not an absolute disaster, but another one here. Do you start to get a little worried? You worry about your team as a whole because you have to find a way to make those interceptions quote-unquote go away, and that means your defense. They've got to go out there on sudden change and at least hold people to field goals. And if that keeps happening, they lose confidence in the quarterback, and then no one plays well. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. And a nice gain of 21 yards. On first down, it's McNair. Flush to his right. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Joey Bosa in there for the sack, and he's closing in on that all-time record. That's number 19 on the year. So after the sack, here's second and 14. All right, here we go. Now McNair. Over the middle to Smith. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. 23 yards on the play. A first red zone opportunity for the Titans. This is first and goal from about the eight. They'll try and run for it with Henry. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. He'll get two out of that run, and it's going to bring up a second and goal. Defensively, pretty good start there with their backs against the wall. That's a win for the stock troops right there. And if I'm them, I get a little bolder now. They won the first battle. Keep coming after them. Put the pressure on them. Now McNair flushed out right. And he's going to score. It's a Titans touchdown. It's their quarterback. A six-yard touchdown run. And the Titans are an extra point away from tying this thing up. Point after, right down the middle. And we are tied at seven. So we're right back where we started. All even as the kick's away. This is taken at his four. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. So out come the Chargers. A tale of two extremes already in this game. A touchdown pass on their opening drive, followed by an interception last time out. Now, it sounds like things balance out, right? What's that, that mythological thing that we do? If you have a candy bar, have a diet soda with it, it balances it out. And we know that's not really true, right? Because the interception, that sting lingers a little bit longer. Got to come out now and put together some nice plays. A gain of six there on first. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. From the gun, Rivers. Green with a catch left side. A busy first quarter. His third catch of the afternoon is a first down. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone. Make sure to... First down throw here for Rivers. Looking for Benjamin, but it's intercepted. 
picked off by Prince of Mukamara. And his guys will take over at their own 44-yard line. So that's back-to-back -back drives where they've thrown an interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, what's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. They've got them frustrated right now. So good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10. Detroit! Detroit! McNair to throw. Into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Picked off around the 31. And a return across midfield into the 46-yard line. Well, and I saw the pressure coming at him. That just looked problematic. Hit him as he threw it, and the interception ensued. Let me pay homage to the man who stood in this spot before. He always talked about how much pressure is in the face of a guy, and can he step into a throw. And when you can't do that, oftentimes interceptions result. Let's go, let's go. Delta! Yeah. And they'll run it here. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Well, they did throw interceptions on their last two drives, so no surprise at all they decided to start it with a running play. I'm actually a little bit surprised, though, that they got as much out of it as they did. Yeah, a decent little gain. Puts them in a pretty good spot for second down. They're able to push forward for about four down to the 37. But if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, a guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. From the shotgun, it's Rivers. He's got his man, it's Williams. And he gets it to the 32, good enough for a first down. They get six on the pickup there as the drive will continue. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. And his throw here is incomplete. He was looking for Travis Benjamin that time. And it's second down. It's always a battle. Who's going to win on first down, the offense or the defense? Let's face it, if you've got the ball, four yards or more on first down is what you're aiming for. They tried to throw for it there. Nice effort to knock that one away and bring up second down. Here's second and ten now from about the 32. A second down throw for Rivers. Escaping the pressure right. And he's going to be taken down here. A sack back at the 32. 
you never want to give up a sack. From the O-line's perspective, they hate it for several reasons, especially because they felt like they let little brother down back there in the pocket. Oh, no doubt. They have a ton of pride, and they go into every job wanting to keep that guy clean. They want that uniform with no grass stains, no dirt, nothing on go. it, Why? but it's really, really difficult. You're talking about some terrific athletes who are trying to put him on the ground. So it's third and long for the Chargers and Rivers after the sack. To throw, Rivers eluding the pressure right. And that is incomplete. What's the old adage? Be quick, but don't hurry. Well, that went right out the window there. He was hurried, harassed. <laughs> that ball had to be gotten rid of. Otherwise, he was going to get sacked. The Chargers will bring out the field goal unit now. This is a 49-yard attempt. Right hatch. And it is good. Oh, that one looked to be in trouble the whole way. But it does get over the bar. And they take the lead here now at 10 to 7. So that's a seven play drive that ultimately stalls out there at the end. Now, things were a little leaky in the beginning of that drive, weren't they? But how about the front seven? As they got closer to the goal line, things stiffened a little bit, forced the field goal. And with a marker down, he's up just past the 25 yard line, but I think they're going to be going backwards. Let's check the call. Yeah, this is going to put them back with a not great field position. So they really got zero benefit at all, right? Sometimes you can absorb a penalty when you get a big return. Then the penalty brings it back, but you still have great field position. As you pointed out, not in this case. down he'll go at the 25 he'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running so it'll leave him with second and a yard I think the last two plays really illustrate how difficult it is to game plan against this guy because you know he can throw the football but how about his use of legs as well what we call those broken plays you can't account for them. yeah those plays those two that you just mentioned a microcosm really of how he can hurt you and yeah, nothing doing he's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage he got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. The Titans on third down, just one for three thus far. Here it's third and two. To throw, McNair. He's got his man, boy. And he picks up the first before he's taken down at the 29. It'll be a pickup of four, good enough to earn him yet another first down. <laughs> On first and ten, McNair. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. It'll be a gain of four, and it'll make it a second down. Well, it's tough to be a defender in today's NFL because there's so many things to account for in today's passing game, including the back sneaking out of the backfield. Not quite as bad as a turkey bowl where you have that center-eligible stuff, but still a lot of guys to account for. McNair. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. This defense has been very disruptive early on as they force another one to go awry. Seems to be the front and the back end. Pass rush, they've been able to get home, and they're taking the ball away in coverage as well. I love how you put it together. The front and back working in sync, only way to play good defense. The Titans on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This will be third and six. McNair. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. I'm starting to feel for that quarterback back there. I mean, you know me. Normally, don't have a lot of empathy for the QB, right? In this case, definitely. He's been on constant duress this entire game. I don't know how he's surviving back there. And to think, there's still a long way to go in this football game. 
And no one there to stop it. Hits at the eight, but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. The Chargers offense gets set. They head back onto the field. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> <laughs> Not one that I've ever met. Now second and seven from the 23. Second down, it's Tomlinson, and he'll get about three as he takes this up near the 25. They don't want it, fellas. They don't want it. Two minutes to play here in the first half. We'll come back to Southern California after this. A nickel set shown by the Titans on third down. Think and pass. Working out of the gun, Rivers. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked off by Prince Amukamara. And he's going to get this one to the 23-yard line. He was trying to get that one to Allen that time. Taken down near the 20 at the 21. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. Earlier this half, you were wondering how the defense was going to handle him defensively. Were they going to bottle him up at different levels, so to speak, is what you said. What have you seen so far? Well, I think they've been absolutely terrific because it feels like on every play, if we were watching this in the film room, when he clipped off the film or stopped it, you would see 11 shirts of that same color right there in the frame trying to tackle it. That's what you're looking for. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked off by Casey Hayward. And he will take it out to the 25-yard line. Well, that's three picks he's now thrown in this game. And I know this, the holiday season, because uh -huh. here we are season in December. Season of giving. Right, it is the season of giving. Maybe for his own sake after the game, he may have to announce right, that he's donating certain amounts to charity for each interception that he threw. Following the interception here, Rivers throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. He's got the lane, and there he goes. And all the way in for a Charger touchdown. A big play there. His fourth touchdown on the year. And the Chargers get the quick strike touchdown. And it's up and good. is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This fielded at the two. And an alley to run. He's at the 50, the 30, 20, 10. Touchdown, Tennessee. I know a lot of special teams coaches, they just want to keep it away from him because that's what he can do. And others have egos that their players can't keep up with. And they say, challenge him, kick it to him. The way he runs as fast as he is, I wouldn't challenge him at all. I'd do everything possible to keep it away. He is just a blur when he gets a full head of steam, and he got a full head of steam there. A 
extra point right down the middle. And the lead's down to a field goal at 17-14. So let's try this again. After the kick return TD, here's yet another kickoff. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Chargers offense now, they get set to head back on the field. And we'll see how this is played. Offensively, they've got the lead. Not a whole lot of time left. What do you think, Charles? Well, it's tempting to try and add to your lead. But a mistake there, that can change things in a big way. I say go ahead, take the knee, get on out for the half. Drops this off to Tomlinson, complete. And the Titans going to signal for a timeout defensively. As the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Rivers now on second down. Benjamin's got it. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. As they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. here on first down and his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today it's the linebacker Michael Kendricks and he's going to score it's a Titans touchdown Charles I'm looking at you and understandably your mouth is wide open in disbelief what were they thinking that's going to be one of the great mysteries, but I do know this. When they went out on offense, I will guarantee they told them, don't just make anticipatory throws. Make sure you see it before you throw it. Didn't happen here. Trying to protect that lead, and now they gave it up. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Chargers getting set to go. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. A little under 30 seconds to go. We'll see how they play it here on first and 10. Now Tomlinson on first and 10. And not a whole lot doing there. So he'll get it up to about the 28-yard line. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Three yards on that last run. So here is second and seven from the 28. Second down, Rivers. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. It's a gain of six on the play. And that is going to set up a third and one. Load it. Load it. Hey. Operating from the gun. Rivers, he's going to loft one deep left side here. And my goodness, another interception. Picked off at the 23. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. Final play of the first half, barring a penalty as they come up on first and 10. And with time running down, they go down to a knee. So we reach halftime here with a visiting time. We now proceed to the start of the second half. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Both these offenses have been in fine form. What will the second half bring us as we are underway in quarter three? Oh, nice spin. Oh, that brought back bad memories. 
Out comes the Chargers as they'll go on offense now to start this third quarter. They're down here, but very much in this game. What, what's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission? Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. See how that recipe works. Throwing Rivers. And Green with a catch left side. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. That one good for 13 and a charger first. I like how they work the tight end on a nice little under route there. And if you're going to give him that much space, he's not even going to catch the football. He's going to run away from me a little bit. And that's exactly what he just did there, picking up extra yardage. Rivers now 10 of 17 throwing the ball. He's got a first and 10. Rivers now to throw on first down. And now here is another interception. Picked off by Matthias Farley. And the return this time will go out to the 42-yard line. Gosh, you add up last week and this week now. That's nine interceptions in this two-game stretch, and we're not done here. It's almost that they can't even believe their eyes. Or maybe, partner, is the confidence level in him so high that they believe he'll get out of it and make plays for them to win a game? Well, they've said they believe in him. That's being tested right here. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. Continues what could be a record setting season. Now, then, after the sack, it'll be interesting to see what they have planned for second and 23. Play action. It's McNair. They'll roll him out right. And this is incomplete. Appeared to me he was just trying to find an open receiver and got forced out to his right. Had to come off of a guy downfield, try to hit his back. Unable to connect. Should have been an easier throw moving to his right, though. Yeah, much easier, obviously, for a right-handed quarterback. He was going to his left. A little bit tougher. Exactly. Couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. It's easy to see when we review this that the ball needs to come out quicker because if you don't throw it right on the break, you bring a crowd of people into the equation. And that's why it got knocked away there. Now Benjamin. Now a hit and a loose football. And that's what friends are for. Right. <laughs> As the returner, you know who you're buying dinner for later. Oh, without a doubt, because he just took care of you and your team in a big way. You know, you turn it over there, that's a big momentum changer and put your defense in a bad spot. So Rivers will lead the Chargers out first and 10 at their own 37. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. Boy, he does it at a high level, doesn't he? Because when I watch him, I think of his vision. 
straight ahead, peripheral. Also has that sense of where holes are going to be before they actually open. I think that helps set him apart from many of the other bats in the league. Tomlinson again, a first down carry. And he's up over midfield and down into Tennessee territory. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid game. The disadvantage hey. of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. Here's the backup now, the former Badger, Melvin Gordon. The gain of four that time as the drive continues. And Brandon, you know that expression, he just does what he does? <laughs> it sounds trite, doesn't it? But in this case, it's perfectly apt. This is one of the better runners in the NFL. And all he does is just find avenues, find ways to pick up key first downs and big runs. They'll run it now out of the gun. And the lane closes up quickly as he'll get about three down to the 38. Looks like they're establishing a pretty good pattern here because they've been very heavy in the running game on the last four plays. Yeah, you took the words right out of my mouth. So far, four plays in this drive, all four on the ground. take this one down to the 36. Call it a gain of a couple, and that's going to leave him with a third and about five. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? Rivers from the gun on third down. And caught right side, Green. Two yards is all they'll get on the completion. It's fourth down. Partner, I think that completion takes the definition of dink and dunk to a different level, doesn't it? It does, and the defense was right there, kind of played into their hands. And this is right down the middle as he puts it through, and that'll bring him back within a point. These kickers now, it's like we take it. Yeah, you're exactly right, and we shouldn't take them for granted, but I have a theory about it. You want to hear it? Yep. Yeah. They are more athletic now than ever before. Talk about kickers. Mm -hmm. Trace their backgrounds, trace their histories. You'll find that they were big-time athletes all along, but their kicking was so prevalent that we made them specialists. Well, and now those 50-plus yarders seem easy for some reason. They'll try and get the run game going. This is Henry. And it worked his way across the 30 to the 32. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Again, it's Henry. He lost two there, and it's third down. Part of the thinking when you bring in extra tight ends, you're hoping that each of your guys gets those one-on-one -on -one blocks and creates a crease for your runner. You know what the converse is, though? Right, now, You've got to win those one-on-one -on -one blocks, set. and when you don't, that's the result you end up with. All right, here we go. Green, 39. Green. From the gun, here's McNair. And he will find his man on the end route, complete. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. That his first catch so far. They've held him under wraps, but he's got a first down there. familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. That's going to go as a loss of a yard and it'll be second down.
McNair off the play fake. Over the middle here to Brown. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Give him 30 yards there. Well, even after all those interceptions, he's not deterred, still confident to go deep at work there. I think all the old rules about playing that position still apply. If things go wrong, you still act like you're the best player out on the field. You still carry that supreme arrogance with you and continue to fire the ball. I've seen guys have games like this, and this is where you find out if you're great or not. Can you overcome some interceptions and still lead your team to victory? One of the things that really impressed me about Joey Bosa is that he doesn't sacrifice the run game trying to get sacks. This guy really knows how to hold the point of attack, great leverage, and then goes and sheds people and makes plays. And it's 6'5", 270, just a monster. Absolute monster with a really high motor. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. Let's not quibble about the gain there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives them a much better opportunity to convert on third down. The Titans on third down. Three for Detroit, seven so Detroit. far in this game. This will be third and five. Detroit! Detroit! Back now at the StubHub Center in Carson. The Titans on third down. Three for seven so far Detroit, in this game. Detroit. This will be third and five. Out of the gun, it's McNair. Oh, he almost intercepted it. They're just forcing it into too many tough spots. That was almost a fourth pick of the game. And now fourth down. So the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here. It's a 39-yard attempt, right hash. And his kick is good. And that'll move their lead up to four now. So they get the three, but you wonder now, is that going to be enough? Excellent question, because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, they're a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there, those would be big half-moon grins right now because they feel a whole lot better about their position. Well, and a touchdown in the other direction. All of a sudden, they're down. Here comes the Chargers offense now back out onto the field. And fortunate to get points on the board last time. They had to hit a really long field goal to do so. The kickers in today's game are so good and so skilled and hit from distances that we almost start to take them for granted. Mm -hmm. And we can't do that. That's a long field goal that they got three points out of. They've got to feel good about that. And they better make sure they love him up because he's helped them out. Yeah, now we'll see if that offense can put six on the board here. We'll see. Well, they had to run for no gain. Now they'll try again from the 25 on second and 10. Now a second down throw for Rivers. Finding a safety valve here. That's complete. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. It'll go as a gain of 11 and a charger first. And at his size, he's a smaller back. You can get him to football. He can kind of get lost, make someone miss. It's good for him. Yeah, it's great for him. I like what you said there. Sometimes he gets lost in the traffic a little bit. But get him out in the open field into some space. That plays to his strengths the best and keeps him out of it where all the big boys are, you know, make him make someone miss in the open field. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. It goes as a gain of eight, and it moves the chains. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. First down, Rivers. And it's incomplete. Didn't have a receiver open downfield, and as it turned out, couldn't even find his outlet, man, because of the coverage. It's way too tight, unable to find anyone open. 
Rivers incomplete on first down. Here's second and 10. 12, 12, 12. In cut. Throwing again. Rivers. Oh, no, he lost the football. And his guys will set up shop at midfield at the 50-yard line. We have seen this before, and we know coaches preach about this and work on it all the time. Catch the ball. You know there's going to be some traffic somewhere. They've got to put it away and secure it as they try and get downfield. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10. They'll run it now out of the gun. Brought down, but after we saw a flashy little move, stopped short of the 40. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. They stop him behind the line. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. How about that, partner? That happened in a hurry. Sudden, explosive, gets into the backfield and spills the play. Yeah, he was AFC Defensive Player of the Week last week because of plays just gun. like that. Gun, gun! Gun, gun! Gun, gun! Now McNair. Flush to his right, and he finds Seals Jones complete. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. to Henry. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. All right, that's a decent game there, but it hasn't been his best game overall. So I wonder what the mindset is of his team. Do they want him to handle the football and try and close this game out, or are they going to make an alternative plan and maybe go in a different direction? Uh, I think they need him, and this is his time to shine. It's just not completely calculated correctly. Seven picks between last week and this week after that one. And they always say the most important part of a player is those six inches between the ears. But right now, it's all those interceptions that are going on. So whoever his trusted confidant is on the sidelines, I don't know if it's the offense coordinator, quarterback's coach, maybe the backup quarterback, that's who he needs to Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And down to the 20. Rivers to Allen on the hook up there. 57 yards. And at this stage, down in the second half, looks like they just wanted to find a way to get it in the hands of their playmaker, and they did. I think you're exactly right. I don't think the coordinator's looking at his play sheet and trying to figure out which play will work well. He's trying to figure out how to get the ball to the playmaker that you just described. Looking down at that sheet, you find people plays, not necessarily X's and O's, and that's exactly what they did there. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. A lot of people call the toss a probing play to see what they can get against the defense to see how they adjust and react. Their probing's working pretty well. That was a very nice run. Let's 
Marco. They go again to Tomlinson. And he's in for a Charger touchdown. A great play there. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Chargers have taken the lead here in the fourth quarter. Extra point splits the uprights. And that gives him a three-point lead. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This fielded at the two. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. Here's the Titan offense now as they make their way back onto the field. We saw a number of good games earlier today. This one might top all of those. It's been a dandy as we come up on first and 10. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. They lose the yardage, and of course, they also lose the down on the grounding call, and it's quickly second and Detroit! long. Detroit! To throw, McNair. And his throw is incomplete. Brandon, at least there's one bright side to that incompletion. What's that? It wasn't an interception. Wow. <laughs> you're, you're a nice guy. That was kind of savage. But correct. No, no pick, just incomplete that time. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. into his left. In trouble here, and down he goes. Back at the eight-yard line. Melvin Ingram in there to drop him, and his great season continues. 13 sacks for him now on the year. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. Returning, it's Benjamin. Look at the spin. Balance. A very good return that time. 18 yards. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you score points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. And when do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage, use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. He's going to sling this deep downfield. And they went for a big play through the air on second down. Couldn't connect. Now it's third. Sure, that pass was incomplete as they made an attempt to get a big one downfield. But that's okay because the second part of that is if you don't get the completion, at least you've told the defense you're trying to stretch them out a little bit and they may have to change accordingly. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. Is going to be incomplete. Okay, I'm not quite sure how to judge that one. Maybe didn't have enough legs underneath him. Mechanics might have been off. Maybe some fatigue. That one came up short. Yeah, fourth quarter. Maybe you do start to watch as the arm there, the legs still there. This has been a tough game. The Titans offense now. They get ready to do battle again here. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep him warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now from all the work he's getting. And he drops this off to Thompson complete. 
It's a four-yard pickup, and that'll make it second down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Go on, go on! Go on, go on! McNair. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And he's unable to grab it. Thought he might have had position, couldn't hold on third down. Time for a break. We're back to see what happens after this. The Titans on third down. They're right at about the league average, 40%, 4 for 10. This will be third and six. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky. Back to throw. Melvin Ingram in there to drop him as the clock continues to roll. This has been a tough one for this offensive line. It appears almost like they've been on roller skates this entire game, the way they've been pushed around. Six sacks given up in this one. One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And no, it's incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And how about this for a setup? The ball will go over on downs at the one-yard line. It's first and goal and a late touchdown at this stage. Could officially salt this one away. Tomlinson, and he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Los Angeles. A great effort there with his third touchdown so far, number 13 now on the year. And the Chargers find a way to stretch their lead. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This fielded at the two. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. The Titan offense now working their way back onto the field. They might be thinking this is close to a lost cause here. Got to play it out. What do they need to do? Well, they have a thought process in no, mind no, 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 already, Patrick, but they can't get ahead Patrick. of themselves. They know that they need to score quickly. Yep, two-score game. Onside kick and get the ball back and then score again. But they can't worry about the last two points. <laughs> the only thing that matters is scoring quickly. Then they'll take it from there. It's caught inside the 25. A big play that time for the Titans. 69 yards. First down now, but that clock rolling. In our pregame meeting, all they talked about was keeping him hemmed in and wanting him to make his throws from the pocket because they knew he was pretty dangerous if he got outside, and he just showed it right there. Pretty good arm, too. Well, that didn't take long. One play, and we're already looking at a first and goal situation. Here's McNair, and this is caught now for a late touchdown. So hold everything here. This one's not over yet. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. You got a one-score game now. Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side, get that high hop, and hope that one of the guys can come up with it. And on the other side, get that hands team ready. No doubt about it. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. And the Chargers coming out of the field now. We have seen a lot of points here in this quarter. For us up here in the booth, it's been fun to watch. The defensive coordinators probably scratching their heads. Yeah, they're going a little bit crazy right now. But let's face it, all of our friends who play fantasy, <laughs> they're enjoying the heck out of this show because most of them are creating and getting a bunch of points. Yeah, points certainly not at a premium here. And they're able to get this one across the 35. And the Titans going to signal for a timeout defensively. As the clock will stop with 55 seconds remaining in the football game. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. On 
the handoff. Tomlinson. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. Now another timeout here called by the Titans as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. You'd have to think likely another running play coming here, second and 11. They stay on the ground. Tomlinson looking for an opening. Not much there. He'll get it to the 39. Give him two on that run, and they're still left looking at a third and about nine to go. And now we're going to get a timeout here called by the defense. As the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play. Let's go. A uh, kneel down here from Rivers, and that should be it. Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road, but there's something a little extra special about <laughs> doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? And the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with the home team. Well, I know at points in this one you wanted to close your eyes because of all the points that were being put on the scoreboard, you're a defensive guy, but it was a fun little track meet, wasn't it? It was, and you know the people really enjoyed this game? They're the ones that like going to batting practice at the Major League Baseball parks, <laughs> right? Seeing the 14 to 11 game, that sort of deal, that's right up their alley with what we saw in this one. So for the home team here, they move back over 500 at 7 and 6. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the...